Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Ender King 990 as a dramatic music plays in the background. So, today I will be, well, creating a new world, in brackets, um, for a new series I want to make. It is going to be called Tests and Tutorials. So, what this world is basically for is so that I can show you guys some redstone tutorials, some traps, tricks, and other pro gamer kind of things, or trolls, if you want, whatever you want to call it, and to test out some myths, test out some glitches, I mean there are a few glitches I've heard of that I want to see still exist, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people also want to see if they exist, or if they've been patched, or if something else isn't some other glitch has taken their place, but on that note, let's get going. So for this video, I thought I'd start off with one of the more interesting and a little bit complex redstone circuits that I've made in the past, and it will be a timed wall crushing system. This is where the wall crusher will crush your... Uh, cross whatever comes in its path, but as you can see I've spawned over here. I think I'll just go set my spawn point somewhere else. Yeah, I'll set it here. But as I was saying, this is fairly simple. Well, I guess I can say I'm the first person in Minecraft to see a purple sheep spawn five seconds after the world is generated. Woo! I'm lucky. Oh yeah, I'm lucky. Yeah, I'm lucky. No, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna name this lucky. This is gonna be my personal lucky sheep. Where's the name tag? Give me the... No, I don't want that. Give me that. Give me this. Give me this. Don't you go anywhere, lucky. quickly make a fence for it. Sorry if this is um, not what you expected from this video, but um, hooray. <laughs> I just need to quickly make a fence. Don't you go anywhere, Lucky. I'll give you some room to move around, I guess. Put a fence in. Fence gate in. I just need a lead. Give me a lead, give me a lead, give me a lead. Leads. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Where's my... Come here, Lucky. You are going straight in the Lucky pen. And you're remaining. Okay, so... There we go. We have Lucky, which means... Ah, uh, I hope this is a very Lucky series. So, with that out of the way, let's get back to what we were doing. So, the wall crusher, you can use whatever you want. Whatever block you want. You could use chiseled red sandstone, you can use polished andestite, you could use never what block. You could use wool. It's not really advised to use wool for this, unless, um... Okay, there is a death trap part of this, where... Essentially, you dig to the bottom of the world, you break bedrock, and whatever whatever is in the trap will fall to its demise. For me, because this is the PS4 version, I cannot break bedrock, so I am going to have to use lava. If you are like me, and you are using a version that, has to, that you will have to use lava for your death trap, I suggest not using wool. However, we are going to be using wool for the circuitry, I will be using magenta wool, for the redstone circuitry part. I'll be using orange wool for something else, and I'll be using cyan wool again for something else that is crucial to our build. 
for this I will be using the red chiseled sandstone and the cut red sandstone as I just said you can use whatever block you want but that's just what I'm gonna use for the redstone part you will need a redstone torch or a redstone block it doesn't really matter because of the way we're gonna use them you'll need some powered rails some detector rails now my I will just quickly put the lava bucket in my inventory along with that you'll also need a minecart eventually some rail and the piece of resistance the sticky piston now then let's get to work first it is advisable to clear like a little area of of your place you can do this underground you can do this above ground for the sake of lighting I will just do it above ground now you can make the now the okay the good part about this setup is you can make it a very long corridor like you can have two of these here you can have another two of these here and you can just continue as far as you want for the sake of this video and to keep it short I'm just going to be showing you the one yeah there we go I will be using this just to mark out where I've put my um, pistons. So now we've set up the pistons, we can event we can just make the crop and the hole. Oh, I think it's best if we make the hole first, so we can get it out of the way. I will be making mine four blocks deep. The reason I'm making it four blocks deep is because the lava, where I'm going to put the lava, will be two blocks deep. So, first of all, here's the two block deep hole. The lava will start where I'm digging. Now, I will just quickly fill it in with decoration of this stuff because I can and I want to. I mean, it's totally up to you if you want to leave it naturally, natural or decorated like I have. But, each to their own. So,. I'm going to quickly fill in this area with lava, definitely light up the place a bit, get rid of the lava bucket because I no longer need it, discontinue my crotter, one, two, three, you can make yours however long you want, I'm just going to make it three blocks long on each side from the, from the pistons themselves, this side needs to be longer. I'm so tempted to push you in there, but not today. Okay, that is the corridor. Now, as you can see, there is no roof, and you'll see why sooner or later, sooner, when I start constructing the circuitry. Speaking of which, uh, let's do that. You'll need... I suggest you dig... Okay, first, yeah, first you put a block here, then you dig two block trench away from it, fill that with the wall, and I forgot, yeah, I did forget, <sighs> I'm, a f I'm a noob, I admit I'm a noob, I'm so much of a noob, you will need redstone dust for this, so just put some redstone dust on the wall, I believe that should activate it, if it doesn't, I'm not going to be happy. Yep, that activates it. Now, if you were using for instead of using the two sticky pistons here, you were using four. So, just imagine two more here. You need a different um, redstone setup. So, just for basics and simplicity of the video, I'll be I'll just be using this. Okay, now you've set up that put some sign wool next to it. And on top of that, a detector rail. You'll see you'll see why there is a detector rail here. Now, this is completely up to you. I don't advise it, however, again for simplicity of the video, 
we are going to make the redstone circuit go up and over. The the um, corridor that we previously made. Now, you may need a redstone repeater. I will just quickly see if you do just by looping everything around to here. I'm going to just quickly put down a redstone torch here instead. Does that activate that side? Nope, you will need to add a redstone repeater on top of here. So, I am just going to go get my redstone repeater once I fill that back in. Now, this might affect your design because the redstone repeater norm normally gives like half a tick delay. So, if I was to remove, if I was to remove the torch and place it again, it was a bit of a it was a bit of a delay. So, if you want, you could have it so that it does this. One closes and the other closes and the other opens, the other opens. You could set it to do that, but again, I'll leave that up to your design. We no longer need the redstone repeater, so we can get rid of it. Now, I suggest putting two orange wool here, and two orange wool here, and another wool here, and another wool here. Put your powered railers down. No, that was not what I wanted to do. You will need to put a redstone torch. Somewhere. Now, this wall that I've just placed, those two blocks, I will be removing pretty soon. Actually, no, forget that. And just do this. Just do this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Pink wall. Pink wall. Redstone torch. Redstone torch. Now, here's the thing. This is going this is not really going to work because in order to get across there needs to be ample time to actually make a complete jump what i've just done here is i've made it so that there really is no time to jump just for a certain reason and i cannot apply for some reason there we go. You don't need to. As you can see, this isn't gonna work, so we'll just remove this, remove this, and we'll make it longer. I suggest you make it as long as the redstone signal for power rails can carry, which is nine blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put our redstone torch down and do the same for the upside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put this down. Move it. That there, that there. And there you go. Now there should be a longer delay between the minecart going across this and the pistons closing. Another way you could do this is you could make it a giant loop. So, I'll show you that later. I'll show you that after I show you this. So, as you can see, there's a longer delay before the walls crush. But it's still not long enough, so I think you will need to do a... You will need to do a 
loop instead of just this. Unless you just want a really, really long line of track, but hey, that's up to you. If you want to waste time doing that, be my guest. I am just going to be doing this for the sake of the video. I'm just going to put sign wool here, just so I know that I'm putting down some normal tracks. And I will need a magenta block here, magenta block here, red stone torch, and red stone torch. So the reason I'm doing this for you four players. Yeah, the reason I'm doing this is so that the delay between minecart going across this to make these close and open will be a lot longer so that the player has, or whatever it is, has a chance to jump over this. So, just a demonstration. Ta-da! It's a free block jump. I, if you were doing... If you were doing, in, instead of two sticky pistons, four sticky pistons, you might make it a four block jump, which will be extremely hard. So if you want it hardcore mode, be my guest. I've done it before. Uh, yeah, I've done it before. It's pretty fun. One, two, three. If I would place it on the actual thing, put a sign block here. Keep adding and put that there. Now, I've got to loop it up again. As you can hear, the dog is barking. Yeah, we have a dog. He's adorable, but loud. I don't know what he wants right now. So, yep. It's linked up now. I'm just going to put the redstone torches on the corners again, just because... Actually, no, that won't work. It won't work on the corners. Um... I think it'll work somewhere like here. There we go. Now let's bring the mic through and let's see how it works. Yeah, I'm... Okay, I will repeat that again just in case you missed it. So we are looping this around so that there is a delay between here and being able to jump through the pistons. Now that we've made the loop, we're going to run the minecart through and see just how it works. Two. One, two, one. That gives you enough time to jump. Just clear my inventory. Grab that. Grab that. And now we can make the roof. Now we want to make the roof high enough that someone can jump across. So I'm just going to go get some red sandstone stairs because I can. And I'll put the stairs here. Eh, maybe not. Oh well, we'll just leave it without a roof. But however, this is... Actually, no, we will put a roof. We just have to stand on the edge and jump. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. I'm just gonna move this stuff because I want to hide the circuit as much as possible from any suspecting players. So put it there, 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 there. There we go. Still works the same way. Now, if I didn't fall in the lava, 
I would have made that jump. So let's try it out again. Jump. Now, if I was to jump as the thing is closing, as you saw, I jolted a little bit to the left as it tried to crush me, and I fell in the lava. If I jump at the right time and do that, I fall in the lava because the thing will crush me, Minecraft will either push me above or below them, and eventually I will just fall in the lava because I cannot make the distance on freefall. Just finish off the roof. And there you have it. You have your own crushing wall corridor with a time delay. Thanks to the minecart. Mm, essentially you could do this with another circuit. So I will just quickly show you that circuit. I will need two, t I will need redstone torches. I will need some redstone repeaters. I will need redstone dust of course. I will need walls just to show you. Pink, cyan, orange. Okay, I'll show you over here. Essentially you could hook this up to that circuit over there, but one, two, three, four, five, cyan, one, two, three, four, five, cyan, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Is that a 5x5? Five five? No, it's not a 5x5. Five five. My bad. I'm pretty sure some of you have seen this before. Redstone torches. Yon sign blocks. 1, 2, 3. 3. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. One, two, three, two, three. You can set the delay for however long works for you, but as you can see, this circuit turns itself on and off in a loop. It loops itself. Now, the purple part will connect to, uh, let's say, we'll have it connect to a piston. Just like so. You could essentially hook this up to that. However, the piston will stay open for longer and will close. I think it's best if I remove that and I put here and I put it here. Open, close. It takes longer, but uh, like I said, you could essentially hook up this circuit to that instead of using the minecart. I think the minecart is better because, as it go, because with the minecart you don't need to use a whole lot of redstone repeaters. It will probably save you on trying to find quartz in the Never, which is a whole lot of fun going through there. But there you have it. A simple wall crushing corridor on a time delay with minecart or alternative redstone loop system. That is all for this episode. I will be making a new one when I can. So I will see you all later.